Hello, welcome to my video. Um, this video uh, is primarily to talk about the changes that Snowflake has introduced newly in terms of their UI. So now a lot of things are not directly accessible from the left side bar and that's the most significant change I would say. Um, so uh, like, let's look one by one. So we have here projects, then there are some ingestion things, transformations and um, DVD projects is something I wasn't familiar with from the earlier from the UI that we had earlier um, and then a lot of things on AI and ML side uh, monitoring stayed same and then we have marketplace and uh, the other things so uh, while working on snowflake what you can do going forward is uh, you can just pin the things that were frequently accessed by you so i think worksheets uh, it's something that uh, everyone needs every now and then so worksheets and notebook is something that i mostly work with uh, most of the time so i am uh, pinning those things also other important thing that we might need is um, is the database explorer so that that's where you will be able to see all the um, snowflake objects created by you so far under the specific uh, database so that, that that's something important uh, when you work with snowflake so that's why I I prefer to pin it here um, this will this will uh, uh, the, the internal things are basically same that this this exactly looks how it used to look um, earlier but but yeah the, the left sidebar has changed a lot and up that that's pretty much it and so there's something new that has been introduced by snowflake uh, was not com was not too common earlier that is workspaces the one thing to notice here is you can pin only three things at max that's what i feel okay so they they just they wants us to just have three pinned items uh, that, that's fine so let's jump into worksheets and if i click and open a worksheet so this is now open in the worksheets app i would say the way it was earlier but there's a new thing there is a new thing that snowflake has introduced called workspaces and going forward um the worksheets will be opening directly into workspaces and we will be having uh, easy navigation to navigate across the different notebooks and workspaces Let, let's uh, try and jump in and try opening the workspaces so this is the workspace yeah here uh, so this scratchpad is nothing but my sql worksheet and here are things that might be shared with you and the things you own um, so uh, yeah they, they are like combining a lot of things together uh, in another left sidebar uh, apart from the main sidebar that you can minimize from here and now we have a lot of things to do here you can add a SQL file a normal file folder or you can you can upload files or folder or you can create a dbt project as well um the way you earlier used to see result of your query execution are still not changed let's let's try to run a query so it says cannot perform select uh, this session does not have an current database okay um uh, from here you can uh, manage your current role and the uh, warehouse and just uh, beside that in the right corner you have choose database so uh, earlier the the, the worksheet, worksheets used to have this uh, choose database thing in the on the left left hand side which was a little bit tricky to navigate like you have your role and um, warehouse on the right side and to make any change to the database or the schema you need to again 
uh, move your cursor to left instead of that they, they just put it right beside the um, warehouse and roll that, that's a good thing let's let's just select the um, schema for now, database for now and uh, total eight tables and this this is also a great thing if you if you notice carefully uh, now we have a number of tables uh, highlighted just beside the tables drop down uh, just beside the table tables drop down and I think that, that is something cool um, copy name select everything and run okay uh, query ran successfully um uh this filter has also been added newly if i'm not totally wrong and you can we can untick or uh, check or uncheck the columns that are not necessary for you use case um so that's there and you have query three um visible over here so whatever you query you run on this worksheet um, inside the workspace are visible here and with the respective query id so that's the plus point and a lot of stuff here and that's the ad but additionally you can you can directly create a project i think this also allows you to access the kit if i'm not wrong so yeah basically they are trying to make it like an ide uh, that, that, that's cool it's for an example let's try to get a new sql file okay this my dot sql is my newly created sql file and i don't know what this format sql means it's maybe formatting uh, or sql code that's been written so far so th that is that um, th this, is how, this is how it looks and uh, this one is for creating um, different snowflake objects that, like we had earlier and yeah that's pretty much it other than this uh, we have the stuff we had earlier there are different transformations under transformation we do have tasks as well and hopefully these tasks are similar to the task we are already familiar with that, that should be the same thing and yes snowflake has added a lot of things on the ai side so worthwhile to explore this particular tab as well and that, that that's everything for this video uh hope you have learned something um more from this video and that's everything for now uh, give it a like if you really like this one otherwise leave a comment and what topics i should cover that's it. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.